This next award honors true beauty inside and out. Only 11% of girls around the world consider themselves to be beautiful. Today's recipient of the True Beauty Award is Clarinda Wavenis. This woman is smart, strong, and bold. She is also one of the first women in my life to teach me about real beauty. When I was a little girl, I used to have real short hair. It used to be like up to my ears because I cut it. <laughs> and I used to tie like ribbon and stuff to the end of my hair to make it look like it was long. And my mom must have been really concerned about this because she cut her hair to her shoulders to teach me that you don't have to have long hair to be beautiful. And she also taught me about compassion and to use whatever platform I had to help people. And the only person I helped in my life to make them feel better about themselves is my baby sister, Adonis. I always tell her that she's beautiful and that she don't have to be a size zero to be considered beautiful. The word beauty do does not involve skinny and you could be any size. Oh. Hmm. My mind went blank. That's all right. Keep it. Can you edit this part out? Sure. You can talk about <laughs> it. What else about your mom? Tell us about it. I don't know. Why is she getting this award? Because she's the most important person in my life right now. Um, she deserves this award more than anybody in my family besides my grandmother. She's been through a lot in the last six years with my dad going to prison for um, drug trafficking and selling drugs. But that's all I have. I'm sorry. It's I so forgot. Let's go ahead and wrap it up now. Remember the last part? It's our honor to present it. Um, This is why I'm giving the True Beauty Award to my mother, Clarence Wavenius, because I think she truly deserves it. And this next speaker is beautiful in her own way too, but she's very shy most of the time. Um, please help me welcome Ms. Marilla Van Pelt.